can feel the magic fading. Oh, I had forgotten how it feels not to be caged. Kitty, what's happening? A wonderful thing, my dear, for both of us. I said I'd free you. I didn't say I'd let you live. Betrayal! You will not take the girl. She is mine! Kitty! You're scaring me! I won't let you inside me! I won't! It's always the lust demon. Anyway, hey, hello, how are ya? Morgan disapproves, as usual. Let's get rid of Kitty right away. the puzzle with some help. I'm not very good at puzzles, I must say. Um, where am I going? I'm not going here. Yeah, alright. Let's go back. Read the daughter. We're all good. Anyway, welcome back to Dragon Age. I'm sorry I've been gone for so long, but I have- whoa, okay. Well, let's kill things first. I had a bout of sinus infection, and I learned that I'm deficiency. <laughs> um, so that's what's keep been keeping me from recording for the past two weeks. But I am back now, hopefully for the better, since I know what is wrong with me. Well, what's partially wrong? Okay, what's partially wrong with me anyway? <laughs> As you desire. As you desire. Let's save the game, shall we? Oh. You did it! You freed her! Thank you so much! I'm sorry I ran away, Daddy. I was so scared. Aww. It's alright, Butterfly. You're safe now. All the bad creatures are gone. The phrase to activate Shale is Doolin Han. If you still want that bloody thing, I wouldn't if I were you. Now we should go, and quickly. Thank you again. We owe you our lives. Uh, don't mention it. We're, we're all good. Oh, what's this? Ooh, Lovely. Oh, I am almost out of space. Yeah, iron deficiency, not very fun. Ooh, don't have a special food. Makes you tired. Makes you cranky. Why am I getting all this stuff now? Did I not get it before? Huh, I don't know. Anyway. Possibly why I have so many headaches, or at least one of the reasons why I have so many headaches. Did I just go this way? Oh no. Oh, I think we're good. No, wait. Village of Hanley. We're good. We're good. We're all good. Let's 
So I have meds for the sinus infection and I've been taking some supplements, some iron supplements for the other thing. And so far so good, I guess. Anyway, how's everyone else doing? I am going to cry. I don't know where I'm going. I wish I could have like an actual never mind. Words are hard. Okay. I can do this. I can get out of here. If I have faith in myself. If I have faith in myself, I can just go this way. Yay. And I get this garden. Her name is Shale Doing Hun. I knew that the day would come when someone would find the control rod. And not even a mage this time. Probably stumbled across the rod by accident, I suppose. Typical. <laughs> uh, hello to you too. I stood here in this spot and watched the wretched little villagers scurry around me for, oh, I have no idea how long. Many, many years. And the villagers had no idea they were being watched. Creepy. Then one wonders that you wouldn't be grateful to the one who allowed you to stretch your legs, Gollum. Hmm. Another mage, I see. Charming. <sighs> I was just beginning to get used to the quiet, too. Tell me, are all the villagers dead? Uh, I take it that wouldn't concern you? Familiarity breeds contempt, as they say, and after 30 years as a captive audience, I was as familiar with these villagers as one could possibly be. Not that I wish their fate on them, no. But it did make for a delightful change of pace. Do you have a name? Perhaps. I may have forgotten after all the years of being called Gollum. Gollum, fetch me that chair. Do be a good Gollum and squash that insipid bandit. And let's not forget, Gollum, pick me up. I tire of walking. It does have the control rod, doesn't it? I am awake, so it must. Is something wrong? I see the control rod, yet I feel... Go on, order me to do something. All right, walk over there. And, uh, nothing. I feel nothing. I feel no compulsion to carry out its command. I suppose this means the rod is broken. Shouldn't you be happy about that? Hmm. I suppose if I can't be commanded, this means I have free will, yes? It is simply, what should I do? I have no memories beyond watching this village for so long. I have no purpose. I find myself at a bit of a loss. What about it? It must have awoken me for some reason, no? What did it intend to do with me? I hadn't given it much thought. I see. Wonderful. I suppose I have two options, do I not? Go with it or go elsewhere? I do not even know what lies beyond this village. Are you going to keep calling me it? Yes, very likely. <laughs> and how do I know you can be trusted? I have no idea. How does it trust anything else without a control rod? Fair enough. Good point. They haven't killed it yet. I consider this a good sign. 
What do you want to do? I watched this village for so long, unable to move or act. My memories of anything before are vague at best. So I have no idea what I want to do. I'm glad to be mobile. Is that not enough? You're welcome to come with me. Are you certain you want to bring that thing with us? It could be dangerous and large. <laughs> Think of it as a, a portable battering ram. Good point. Better it than me, anyhow. I will follow it about then, for now. I am called Shale, by the way. I'm Alyssa. Pleased to meet you. This should be interesting. Or is it? Rock in a hard place. Alistair disapproves. Come on, man. All right. Well, saving game. What's going to happen now? Am I going to be attacked? Am I going the right way? Whoop. Oh, this is just random spot. Oh, chest. Olaf's chest. Olaf's prized chief's knife. Oh, that's kind of cool. Let's get rid of a few things. Oh, that was... Did I have a key for that or something? Anyway. I am definitely at... Definitely good at going the wrong way. Oh, I'm sorry. There we go. Let's go back to camp. Get Wynne all healed from her uh, death. I have been studying Mother's Grimoire. Hmm? Do you wish to hear what I have found? What did you find? Tis not what I expected. I had hoped for a collection of her spells, a map of the power that she commands. But this is not it. Yet you look disturbed. Disturbed? Yes, perhaps that is the right word. One thing in particular within her writings disturbs me. Here, in great detail, Flemeth explains the means by which she has survived for centuries. Let me guess. She drinks blood? Eats children? That is closer to the truth than you might think. Oh. Flemeth has raised many daughters over her long lifetime. There are stories of these many witches of the wilds throughout Chastened Legend, yet I have never seen a one, and always wondered why not. And now I know. They are all Flemeth. When her body becomes old and wizened, she raises a daughter, and when the time is right, she takes her daughter's body for her own. Uh... So why would she risk sending you with me? I do not know. Perhaps tis as she said, the Darkspawn threaten her as much as they threaten anyone else. Or perhaps she believes that this journey will make me more powerful. According to the tome, if the host is already powerful and trained in magic, it takes far less time for Flemeth to settle in. Mm. So if you died, she would have another daughter? Not by any natural means. Perhaps I should take this as a vote of confidence from her on my capabilities? Or perhaps she simply wished me gone from the Kokari Wilds so she could prepare her ritual in peace. A disturbing thought. So is Flemeth a mortal or not? Whatever spark of the demon that made her what she is remains within her, keeps her from dying of old age, but her body deteriorates. Eventually, she would be so wizened as to be senseless and immobile. So, she must seek a new body. 
a fresh body and start the cycle anew. Hmm. Can this body be Inuan, or must it be a daughter? I am uncertain. According to her writings, certain hosts are better than others. The more a host is prepared, the quicker the transition will be. I am so sorry. This simply takes me by surprise. I would have thought I would have had some inkling, some notion. No one thinks the worst of their own mother. Plymouth is no doting mother. She is an abomination and a sorceress, and I should have at least suspected something. So what do you tend to... are you certain about this? Indeed. That is primarily what this tome details. The various daughters that Flemeth has acquired. Their preparation and training. I recognize all of it. I am to be her next host. This is my purpose. I'm not sure I understand what you mean. Once, Flemeth was a mage. This was before the time of the Circle of Magi, but she wielded magical power of the same sort that all the ancient shamans did. It was no different. She summoned a demon and made it part of her, and became an abomination, one that has thrived. Whether Flemeth has always been the demon, or mastered it, or they are one, I truly do not know. No matter what she is, her body still ages and will not sustain her forever. So she must find new bodies. I am to be the next new body in a very long line. So what do you tend to do about it? There is only one possible response to this. Flemeth needs to die. Oh. I will not sit about like an empty sack waiting to be filled. Flemeth must be slain, and I need your help to do it. Mm. Why do you need my help? Because if she is slain while I am near, I am not certain that she will not simply be able to take possession of me right there. So obviously, I cannot be the one to do it. Kill Flemeth? Isn't that a little extreme? It may seem so. If you think of Flemeth as a mother, think of her instead as an ancient abomination that intends to use her own flesh and blood to extend her life beyond all natural limits. She did not wish anyone to get a hold of this information, least of all me. Now I have. If I do not act on what I know, then more the fool am I. Hmm. Perhaps you should talk to her about it first? And what would that do? At best, I would receive pointless reassurances. At worst, Flemeth would imprison me once she became aware I know what I do. I know my mother well enough to be confident she would show no mercy when it came to her own survival. I must do the same. Very well. I'll help you, if I can. Then what needs to be done is for you to go back to Flemeth's hut in the Kakari Wilds without me. Confront her and slay her quickly. I doubt she will truly be dead even then, but it will take her years to find a new host and recover her power, if that is even possible. The thing I must have is her true grimoire. With it, I can defend against her power in the future. Everything else in her hut is yours. Do I have a timeline on this? Not really, but the sooner the better, no? I'll see what I can do. I am grateful. The sooner this can be done, the sooner it will set my mind at ease. That's right. Approve, plus one. All right, let's sell off a few things and then get on with a different Enchantment. quest. Enchantment. Enchantment. See what oh, other goods you have. I'll do that for you. Just come with me. Okay, do you have a bag, please? Oh, oh, yes. Yes, 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 please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah. Oh, that feels so good. All right. Let's go. Uh, we'll talk to our friends. Maybe after our another adventure. If I can figure out how to get out of here. There you go. Bep. Yes. But up. But up. Yes. 
this time. Oh, 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 oh. We can do it. We can make 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 it. All right. And here we are. Soldier's Peak. Make us breath. Look at the size of her. What a fortress. I told you the map would get us through the tunnels. Thrusty's blood. How did you find that path on your own? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Just tell me. It came to me in my dreams. When I was a lad, I tried going through the tunnel by myself. Got horribly lost. But every now and again since, I've dreamt of it. Why didn't you mention this before? I didn't want you to think I was some moon-addled simpleton. I've me wits about me. But enough of that. I'll follow you from a distance. From this a distance. place has the stench of death. I expect there's trouble up ahead. Of course there is. Looks like it's seen better days. Better centuries, more like. Once the wardens flourished, their ranks full, their caliber certain. Now they even accept people like you, Alistair. Hey. Ouch. Fall back! Fall back already! Taking the peak will not be easy, my lord. I gave the Wardens one chance to die with honor. Instead, they hold up like cowards. We follow the King's advice, then. Starve them out. But the peak has months of supplies. Then we wait. When they are too weak to lift their weapons, we will send them to their final judgment. What was that? Felt a bit woozy there. I'm not mad, am I? You saw it too. I was like a waking dream. How is that possible? This place truly is haunted. I think I have the echo. The veil is thin here. The circle tower was that way too. The veil? That's what separates us from the Fade and the demons. Demons? Thank Andraste you came, Warden. <sighs> After you. Alright, I think that's a good place to stop for now. Spooky scary. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you have a great day. If you want to see more of this, please hit that little subscribe button. It's red. It's a subscribe on it, I think. Maybe. Possibly. Like, comment, whatever you feel like doing, if you feel like doing it. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you again next time. Thanks, everyone. Bye.